Hi, I'm Carrie Samuels, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach with your December forecast. And can you believe it is December already? I mean, wow. <laughs> so this is the last month of the year. However, this month, the energy is very much about looking forward and preparing you psychically and energetically for a very spiritually rich 2016 and beyond. Now, we're in Sagittarius until December 21st, and Sagittarius is the sign that gives you your vision. This is the sign of the prophet. And Sagittarius is very optimistic and forward moving and really looking ahead, not looking back. So use this energy now to receive your vision for the future and prepare energetically for how you want to experience 2016. Now this energy, this visionary energy is really stepped up a notch because December 2015 is an 11 universal month and 11 is the number of vision and intuition and illumination and insight. It's that column of light where you're really lifting your energy with light, you're raising your vibration and you're receiving downloads from the divine. Now the thing is 11 is a master number. So you are required to meet the universe halfway because the master numbers teach you how to master your life. So what you need to do is also lift your energy, which means that you're letting go of anything that weighs you down. And you're also required to act on these spiritual insights and downloads that you receive. Now, this energy is illustrated very well in the 11th tarot card, which is justice. Now, justice you really don't want to mess with her <laughs> because Lady Justice, there's nothing sentimental about this energy. And if you've ever heard the expression blind justice, you'll understand that divine justice, divine balance is not something that you can always see with your physical eyes. When you're looking at the world, it's easy to think that things are unfair, things are out of balance, but really in the universe, there's divine and perfect order. And when you see the world through the eyes of spirit, when you're looking at things from a truly spiritual perspective, you'll understand. So when you get caught up in other people's drama, when you get caught up in their personal story, the human part of you can, can really get sucked in and drawn into that. But if you're looking at it from like the eyes of your angels or your spirit guides, you'll understand that the soul, as they're going through life's dramas, they're actually evolving and growing. And so you'll see justice carries a sword in one hand and the scales in another. So this sword, justice is really associated with Archangel Michael who also carries a sword. So this sword is to cut away all of your illusions, to cut away all the things in your life that are keeping you from piercing right into the spiritual truth. And Sagittarius is also associated with truth. They're always seeking that higher vision. So this is about cutting away anything that's getting in the way of you seeing the truth. And these scales that justice is holding, those are the karmic scales, cause and effect, because we have an idea of karma that's a little bit misguided. We tend to think of it as good deeds or bad deeds, but in the universe, it's really about balance. So you could be disrupting your karmic balance when you're giving too much, when you're being too nice, when you're doing something that's not reciprocated. You're actually tipping your own karmic scales and their karmic scales, because typically what's happening is when you're giving too much, someone else is not um, giving in reciprocity or they're not learning their lessons if you're doing it for them. So that's what is so empowering about this energy is that when you truly start to see people through the eyes of spirit, when you truly get that higher perspective and understand that everyone is responsible for their own actions, we still need to be kind to each other and we still need to be compassionate and loving. But compassion is not pity. And we need to maintain our own integrity when we're acting with other people. So justice is teaching you to have reciprocal relationships. Are you giving as much as you're receiving? And you're not giving out of pity or guilt. So that is what justice is teaching you. 
And this 11 energy, it's really teaching us a lot and it's coming up a lot. It's coming up in all of our lunar energies really intensely. We started with that 1111 new moon and now we have our new moon, December 11th, and then our full moon is on December 25th at 1111 universal time. This is because you're preparing yourself for a really incredible, psychically rich, year and you want to be ready for it and the moons are associated with psychic energy so i have four suggestions to really help you lift your energy and move through this with grace so first of all let go of anyone or anything that doesn't serve your higher purpose so you want to ask is this benefiting my soul's purpose and if a person a relationship an activity a situation is not really serving what you want to do with the big picture in your life let it go this 11 energy teaches you to be light and you have to let go of anything that's weighing you down and if you want help with this call upon Archangel Michael. Remember, he carries that sword. And Archangel Michael, his job is to help you release yourself from negativity. So you want to ask Archangel Michael to help cut away any negative emotional entanglements so that you can be lifted and free to pursue, pursue your soul's purpose. So the second thing is act on and express your intuition because you're receiving all those downloads from the divine. And what happens is if you don't do anything about it, if you're just like thinking about things and are afraid to act on it, and that's what this 11 requires is that you do act on it. If you're just letting this energy sit there, it's going to swirl around and cause all kinds of anxiety <laughs> and nervous tension, and then things start to backfire. So you want to write things down. You want to start to really clarify your vision for the future. You really want to start taking action on how you're going to move your life forward with these visions that you're receiving. And you can actually call upon Archangel Gabriel for that because Archangel Gabriel is the communication angel and her divine assignment is to help you share your unique voice and message with the world. So call upon Archangel Gabriel to help you with that. And the third thing, because you're letting so much go right now, people and circumstances and situations, and because there may be projects that you didn't get to finish this year that you're feeling some remorse about, what I suggest is that you let go with forgiveness, that you let go with love and forgive yourself and forgive any person or situation that you feel has maybe caused you some harm or maybe has not given you the happiness that you want and deserve. And the angel, the archangel that can assist you with that is Archangel Raphael carries the energy of divine love and compassion. So you can call upon Archangel Raphael who can heal anything to assist you in your life, to bring love and compassion into your life and help you let go with forgiveness. And Archangel Raphael will help you heal your past and bring healing and love into your future as well. And the fourth thing is view your life from a spiritual perspective. So that means do not sweat the small stuff. When you find yourself getting worried or upset about something, you really want to ask yourself, is this really helping me in the big picture? And does this matter? And if it doesn't, let it go. And instead of questioning why things happened or why things didn't happen or why someone did something or why someone didn't do something, you want to bring it up and ask, how is this helping me learn my spiritual lessons so I can fulfill my soul's purpose? And of course, there's an archangel who can help you with that too. Archangel Uriel, the light of God, and Archangel Uriel can help you view your life from a spiritual perspective and connect with your higher self in the spiritual realms. So call upon Archangel Uriel to help you with that. Now, I highly suggest that you bring the archangels into your life because as you are raising your spiritual vibration, as you are wanting to connect more and more with your intuition and the spiritual realms, that is their divine assignment, is to help you do that, is to help you move through your life with love and grace and lift your energy. And if you've enjoyed this video, share it with your friends. I know they'll appreciate you for it. And in the meantime, have a festive and fun December and happy new year. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.